What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome to the channel, Double Butter Entertainment. Coming back at y'all with another good video. Um, we're going to talk about Manny Pacquiao and why he's in denial about every single thing. Um, so come to my attention. And Freddie Rose just mentioned it again. Manny Pacquiao still in denial about that Floyd Mayweather loss. And he wants that rematch real bad. And I told you guys a long damn time ago that that's what this is what it was all about. He couldn't take that ass whooping. You know what I mean? He won a rematch. He want more money. It's all about money too. And he just um it just stings him that that man beat him like um Ugas just beat him, but better. So Manny Pacquiao just need to he need he needs to move on, man. He just so in denial about a lot of things, man. He's in denial about um, Vada testing. When he said, um, I'm scared of needles. But all of a sudden, y'all ain't heard that shit. Have y'all heard it since? Have y'all heard it since him mentioned that he's scared of needles? You know what I mean? And when he lose, he's in denial. It's always something. You know, when Ugas beat him just now, oh, my legs was cramping and uh, I couldn't move. You look like you was moving to me. You man, just admit it, you're old. Father times don't wait on nobody. For all you Manny Pacquiao lovers, this shit is just getting crazier and crazier with this guy, man. He's in denial about Marquez. Oh, I just jumped in. He caught me with a good shot, but I wasn't feeling well. I mean, every single thing he's in denial about, man. You know, and y'all keep praising this guy. You know what I mean? I think Manny Pacquiao is a great fighter. He's the champion, good, retired, move on, but stop taking um it away from other people you know when they beat your ass man you know what i mean you're taking away their glory and that, it seemed like you, you and speaking of glory you're a god-fearing man right oh you know you're a god-fearing man why you keep trying to take away everybody else's glory when you seem to lose man that's all i want to know you're in denial about a lot of stuff man but what you shouldn't be denying is your wife wants you to retire because she know you're done Manny Pacquiao is done. Let me let all you Manny Pacquiao lovers know this right now. Manny Pacquiao is done. All you guys that were talking shit to me in Vegas, talking about, yeah, he going to beat this, he going to do that, he going to win. And when he lost, y'all start looking at me all crazy like y'all going to kick and bite my ankles and all this stuff, man. Your man is in denial. If he don't retire, he going to get seriously hurt or he going to be talking like James Tony and Vander Holyfield in the near future. You know what I mean? He's in denial that he think he can beat these young bucks. You know what I mean? It's over and done with. Thank God for Vada testing. I don't care. He's in denial. Thank Vada. Vada, Vada, Vada. If Keith Thurman would have got Vada, that's my opinion. I think it would have been a different outcome. You know what I mean? How many of them championship fights that uh, Manny Pacquiao fought had Vada tested. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to take his glory away from him. I'm just speaking facts. You know what I mean? And if it wasn't for Earl Spence Jr., that fight just now wasn't going to have Vada tested. Uga just replaced him, and they already had Vada in the process. You know what I mean? And not just Vada. Age. Age is a factor, man. You can only be good for so long, man. You know what I mean? You're 42, 43 now, and you still want to fight these guys and, you know, show your legacy. And your legacy already there, brother. Let it go, Manny Pacquiao. Let it go, brother. You know what I mean? You, you have nothing else to prove, man. You have nothing else to prove. Floyd, Money, Mayweather is not going to fight you anymore. Do you really think Floyd Mayweather will risk his 50 and 0? Because that's all he cares about. He's 50 and 0, and he's going to take it to the grave. Manny Pacquiao, leave Floyd Mayweather alone. Stop chasing a dream that you're not going to get. You know what I mean? Stop saying that your shoulder, your arm, your head, and you jumped in the water, and if you healed it. Then I made a video about that. You know, people send me things. Yeah, he was hurt. He sent a petition to the um, commission to take some painkillers and all this stuff like that. Okay, 
he had shoulder surgery, y'all said, and all this stuff. But why did he say, why did he say he jumped in the ocean in the Filipino water? It's Google, it's right there. Healed my shoulder. He didn't say he went and had surgery and surgery healed it. He said the water healed my shoulder. So maybe it's all, the CTE is already catching up with him. Maybe he don't know what the fuck he's saying. But I know one thing for sure. He's in denial about all the losses that he had. Go back and look at all the losses he had with Marquez, um, Tim Bradley, and all them people. He's in made up excuse for every single loss that he had. Y'all think I'm lying? Google is a big guy. Go Google and go on YouTube and listen to the after press conferences. You know what I mean? And this is some of you guys' hero. You know what I mean? Hero don't make excuses. They live to fight another day. But for him, he can't fight another day because he's done. Manny Pacquiao is done. Move on. Adios. Get over it and stop being in denial that you're old. You can't move no more. You don't move away from them punches no more. Your reflexes is gone, man. And them punches not there no more. Because now um, Thurman showed them the end of the fight, how to do it. Ugas did it. Just put them high guards up and keep coming forward. That's it. Put the high guards up and keep coming forward. Put that jab on his ass and move. <laughs> it ain't that simple to beat Manny Pacquiao like Floyd was pot shotting him, stay right there, jab him, move, move, put the two. Look at Floyd when Floyd fighting. He put the high guards up and moved out his way, you know what I mean? And Manny do them little fake flurries. And I really don't agree with Shannon Sharp and um, Skip Bailey, what they said, because I really don't like Skip Bailey too much. But they both said the same thing that I've practically been saying for the last three, four years, how to beat Manny Pacquiao, and they showed it. You know what I mean? You put the high guards up and you come forward. And when Manny was throwing them punches against Ugas, go look at the fight. Look at it. Most of them punches hit gloves and arms. Most of them punches hit gloves and arms, people. I was there. I mean, I'm just tired of this stuff, man. Pass the torch. All you had to do was say, Ugas, thanks for giving me the opportunity. Uh, or Ugas said, he always said, I thank Manny for giving me the opportunity. But Ugas was the champion. So, um, and it was a hell of a fight, and you were the best man today. And shut your mouth and move on. Not all my legs were cramping. Who oh, in the fuck cares? Stop making excuses, man, and pack out. Stop making excuses, brother. Listen to what your wife said. That wonderful, wonderful statement she put up. Her lovely husband, it's time for you to stop boxing. I don't want to get you hurt. I don't want you to get hurt. You know what I mean? You you done did everything you set out and you achieved everything you wanted to achieve. Well, that's me saying it. <laughs> you achieved in boxing. Now it's time for you to move on and help our people and be the president that we know you can be and stuff like that. So leave the Floyd Mayweather fight alone. Leader Earl Spence fighting alone. Leader Terrence Bud Crawford fighting alone because we don't want you to get hurt. And you will get hurt if you fight any of them guys, man. So for me telling you, Manny Pacquiao, even though you, I'm not I'm not a Pacquiao fan, you was a wonderful champion. You said, oh, all you did what you wanted to do, man. You proved to people that size don't matter. You had the guts. You had everything you can do. But now it's time to go. Time to go home, sit back, relax. Then, if you want to be president, you can be president. You want to build what, 50 more houses for your Filipino um, people, for the people of um, the Philippines. You can, man. But, man, you know, I do some bad counseling. I used to tell people, stop, think before you react. And I'm telling you, Manny Pacquiao, to stop and think before you react because your next reaction could put your ass to sleep. Like, Manny, um, Mark Hayes did your ass. So give it up. Stop being in denial. Stop pressing that Floyd Mayweather fight because it's never, ever going to happen again. I don't care how much you press it. Floyd would never, ever lose that 50 and 0. You know what I mean? He would keep fighting these YouTubers and making 40 and 50 million before he risked losing that 50 and 0 fighting one of these professional boxers. You know what I mean? So. That's all I have to say with this video, man. I truly hope Manny Pacquiao retires. 
you know, go be with his wife, go make some, you know, enjoy his life, man. He did the best he could. He had a hell of a legacy. He's one of the best ever to do it. But now it's time to move on, man. And um, thank you for all the entertainment you gave us, boxing fans and stuff like that, man. But now it's time for you to go, brother. Butter Entertainment, hit the like button, share, subscribe. This Thursday, we are interviewing Lamont Peterson, two-time world champ. Thursday at 8.30. You want to have to subscribe because I'm going to have a subscriber-only mode. Thank you again, Manny Pacquiao, for all you did and entertaining us boxing fans, man. But let it go, brother. Peace. You know I got it. If you give it to me, I'll give it to you.